This camera here, the Canon X70 or SD1000, as it's also known as, is uh, one of the most popular DG cams at the moment. I've already featured this camera once in one of my videos. I taped it to a drone to see how DG cam video would look from a drone's perspective. And it, well, yeah, it was quite interesting, but I would not have done that if I had known how much people are willing to pay for this online. So why is this camera so popular? Well, I think there are two reasons for it. First of all, the design of the camera. It's instantly recognizable, at least a version with the black lens on the silver body. The sharp corners also add to the unique look of this camera. Usually digicams from this era have very round shapes and round corners, but here they have gone all in with the, let's say, square look of the camera. And the second reason, well, I would say the functionality, because it's a very fast camera, it starts fast, it takes pictures very quickly, just press the button and you can instantly have an image. Also the button layout is very nice, you have the main functions here on the D-pad and you can easily change your settings. There's also a small viewfinder but I barely use it because the screen is very good on the camera. So the basic specs of the camera, well it was uh, released in the year 2007. It has a 7.1 megapixel CCG sensor and the lens corresponds to a 25 to 105 mm lens on 35 mm format. And the aperture is 2.8 to 4.9, so it has a small and nice zoom. The main settings can be accessed from this uh, function button here in the middle. And you have, well, first of all, start from the top. You have different modes. There's manual mode, there's full auto mode, and different uh, other modes like macro and portrait. And you can also change the colors of the camera from here. Now, to get uh, access to more settings, you need to have it on the manual mode. So if you go down, there's the exposure compensation, the manual white balance, and uh, there you also have some color settings. I have it on vivid at the moment. And there is the light meter mode and the image quality. I usually have it on the largest quality possible. Also the camera writes very quickly to, to the memory card so it's not a problem to have it on the highest mode. Around here on the D-pad you have more settings like the flash. If you don't want to have the flash uh, come on automatically when you start the camera you can leave the camera in manual mode and turn it off and then and it will remember the setting. And the ISO is accessed from here and the lowest is 80 and the highest is I think uh, there we go there 1600. And then on this direction there is uh, different focusing modes for macro, infinity and, and in this uh, direction you have uh, different drive modes like burst mode, single shot and uh, self timers. Yeah, so the most of the main settings are concentrated here. It's very nice layout I think. And then inside the menus are more advanced settings like uh, face detection, autofocus and so on and so forth. This button here, the print button, can be reassigned to different functions. So if you go to the menu, which is here, and then go down a bit. And here is the set print button, and we can set different functions to this button. So there is some nice uh, customization available on this camera also. So what about the image quality? Well, for the sensor type and the time it was released, it's quite okay, I think. I've taken a bunch of photos with this camera and they've turned out fine, I would say. It's nothing spectacular either. I mean, if you want to have very good image, uh, I mean, technical image quality, you we should get a camera with a bigger sensor. But it's good enough for, let's say, snapshots and everyday photos. Uh, there's one thing I don't really like about the Canons from this time, and that is uh, that they tend to smoothen out the noise in the high ISOs, so you get, uh, let's say, mushy detail and not sharp grain like on some older Canon cameras. So that's one minus for me. There's also a video mode on the camera accessed by this switch here, but it's not so ideal because the camera does not have a stabilizer, so I would, for that, rather recommend the later XS models which have a stabilizer if you want to do videos with this camera. So well yeah I'm recording myself but uh, you cannot turn any screen so I don't know if what part of myself I'm showing here. Well you could also walk around a bit I don't know try to keep it as stable as possible. Quite uh, silent here otherwise so not so much noise just the sounds of the forest. The resolution of the video is VGA so 640 by 480. It's quite standard for the cams from this time, especially the ones that use CCD sensors. Not so common to find HD CCD digicams. 
In short, the X270 is definitely a nice pocket camera. You can definitely take nice photos with it today, even though it's like 17 years old. The strength of the camera is definitely in the size and the speed of it, as I've probably been saying many times already. But yeah, it's definitely worth repeating because it's very nice having such a small and uh, fast camera to take pictures with. The later Canon Nixus models are also worth uh, checking out because they usually have image stabilizers, which helps in low light and also for video, if you like shooting videos with these cameras. One downside with the camera, at least today, is the price of them online. They have risen quite a lot but uh, you can still find them for cheap if you look around flea markets and thrift stores or maybe some relative happens to have one of these so yeah I wouldn't go and pay the like let's say several hundred euros for this because it's also a very old camera they can just stop working for whatever reason so also keep that in mind don't pay too much for these cameras but yeah I think this is all for this video thank you for watching and See you in another video. Bye! I'm getting swarmed by ants here. This is not a good idea to come here, this particular spot. But then again, this forest is full of ants and ants hills, so what can you do sometimes? Well.